Peace. Uh, well, <laughs> welcome everybody. We have another fantastic show for you because uh, we have Diane Jarvi, as they say in Finland, and for its U.S. folks, it's Diane Jarvi. And she's a singer, songwriter, musician, and also a poet. And along with her, we have uh, Ralph Tuttle, and he's the leader of the, the Finn Hall Band. And so I'm just going to be interviewing them for a while here, and then after that, we're going to fill in the rest of the time with, uh, with the bands, uh, music, dancing, so it'll give you lots of variety on the show. But anyway, let me first, uh, you know, Diane's been playing the cantile. It's a Finnish instrument, and, uh, but also that I, I do know that uh, you do workshops also. So where do you have those? Well, it's, I've gone over many places around the country to <coughs> in Illinois and Colorado and California and Georgia and Boston, all over, wherever anybody wants them. And I, I will do them here too. And I do workshops for people who have no musical background at all to people who have some other musical instrument in their knowledge. And we usually do five string, but I've done five string, 10 string, and also 36 string workshops. And for people who have no Finnish background at all, because mm -hmm. as well, because there's a lot of people that are sort of interested in, you know, the world instruments, and particularly in harps like this. So um, I've had really some wonderful experiences with lots mm -hmm. of different kinds of students. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, I was thinking, boy, that looks like an instrument that I could even play with my stubby fingers. No, everyone can play the cup. <laughs> <laughs> All size fingers can play the don't have any five <laughs> strings out here. So no, 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 I don't have, we put it away. But, but the five string yeah, the five string, is ev it's very user friendly. Uh -huh. <laughs> everyone can it's play a five way, yeah. string because right. it's just the fir first five notes of a, a regular yeah. scale. Uh -huh. so. And so in case anybody's interested, that Yohiko that's sitting over there, uh, who is al that's also made by Jerry this, Hankel. This one yeah, right here? that's a yohiko, and uh, it kind of goes along with the cantata. It's got a, uh, you know, it's a traditional instrument, and I play that. Diane plays it some too, and we <laughs> <laughs> <A little laughs> but we have yeah. fun with that. And mm -hmm. I've done workshops with that, or sometimes right. when Diane is doing a workshop, I'll demo it and so forth. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. It, it yeah. looks like if you're playing this, you probably don't callus, get calluses on your fingers, no. or do you still get them just like no, the guitar? No, not from that, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, <laughs> Diana, uh, where, where do you get your uh, students, you know, for these workshops? Um, well, sometimes uh, through my website, people come because they know that uh, I play these instruments, and there's a little section on my website that talks about workshops. So I've done that, and just through different Finnish organizations around the country or locally here in Minna festivals. Minneapolis, festivals, yeah, different mm -hmm. world music festivals as well, so. So uh, what age groups are these? Well, I've done workshops for kids as young as five. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and then I've had students in their 80s. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I've had the range, and they've all done very well, so. Okay, well. Now I can change the subject a little <laughs> bit. Uh, you know, besides uh, the singing and all the composing, songwriting you've done, and w also with the Cantile workshops, uh, and I understand that you're also a poet and you have published uh, po poems in journals. Yeah, I've been published in various journals over the years, but I have uh, two books of poetry out now and another book that will be published in the fall. So. Yeah, well, here are the books. <laughs> I have a couple books here that are published. This was the first one, um, Divining the Landscape, and that came out about 10 years ago. And then the next book, which is just like a poem sequence, is uh, but it's hand, all hand done, hand sewn, hand typed. It's uh, a letter press. This is called Ancient Wonders: The Modern World, and that came out last year. And then my new book, The Tender Wild Things, will be coming out probably, in, well, sometime in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. So, so let me ask you. So, where do you get the uh, inspiration to do all these <laughs> poems? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just. My mother was a poet, <coughs> and I learned a lot from my mother, who, she was Eileen Jarvanpa, and 
she sort of deferred her whole poetic life till she was about 60 when her first book came out and then she put out about seven more after that and was a great translator of Finnish works into English as well and I watched you know as I was very kind of probably in a, an adolescent I watched her become a poet and I think it inspired me in so many ways that it doesn't matter how old you are you can always come to your passion um, and be true to yourself and um, share maybe your exp self-expression or your looks at different things that come into your life and so uh, she was a kind of a catalyst for me to be a writer uh -huh. and she was always very extremely supportive and and I got I got lucky that I had something in me that was able to do it I guess and I have to do it I don't have a choice and usually writers always say that they don't or <laughs> and artists always say we don't have a choice we have to do mm -hmm. this uh -huh. and so do you have a choice no. No. We don't have to try. We're <laughs> supposed to. It happens it, and it evolves. Yeah. It evolves. Yeah. You can't yeah. be pushed too hard. It, it right. evolves and you let it happen. Yeah. yeah. I was going to mention your mother published a lot too. Yeah, she published a lot of books um, uh, through uh, North Star Press and New Rivers Press. She, uh, and which was a great editor, she, did, she edited many books that had finished themes, you know, mm -hmm. about the. F the second generation Finns. She did a whole book about that. She translated 25 Finnish poets, and um, she she was really uh, uh, a great source for me in many ways. And uh, so I assume that uh, you put some of the poetry into music. Yeah, you know, it's funny because people always say, "Well, my gosh, you you write poetry. Don't you ever sing your poetry?" And I don't. <laughs> I don't think I've ever <laughs> sung a single poem I've ever. And I've kept them very separate things um, because mm. you'll notice that my name is not Diane the Jarvie one? on here my name is Diane Jarvinpa because that's my real name um, it's my name that I was given and it's just Jarvie is a shortened version of that um, and so I've kept them a very separate thing but I take other people's poems Finnish poets I've uh -huh. put to many lots of music and, and also from all over Emily Dickinson or Keats or um, Pablo Neruda. I've taken those poems and put them mm. to music, but not oh. my own. Maybe <laughs> 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 yeah. the tango poem. I'll, I'll do a series of tango <laughs> poems that I'll set to music. Poem. Oh, so there's a grant in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so. so, so how about you know you talk about your grandmother and how about your what was it your mother? But, but anyway, uh, what about your father? Was he an artist? Or? Yeah, no, he was, a, he was actually a fisheries biologist and a, and a conservationist. So it was interesting because I had this combination of oh, my mother, who was a poet, and my father, who was sort of this great eco you know, ecologist. And so the, they were very, it was a very Finnish upbringing because they taught me how to revere the word, which I think is a very Finnish thing, and also nature, which is an extremely... Finnish thing too. So I had very Finnish parents that influenced me highly and in, in what I love and what's important to me. And nature plays such an important part in the in your poetry and yeah. and music Finnish music in general. And today it's Earth Day, yeah. so we should yes. all <laughs> <laughs> So nature yeah, and it is an mm -hmm. important thing. And I think f it's such a when you go to Finland or you're with Finns, I mean it's just a, a an instinctual thing to want to be outside and and mm. um, and that's why cantalas sort of evoke nature because they sound like they often sound like church bells but then they can sound like all kinds of birds and other things too and then you have uh, let's see received awards in poetry well, I've been yeah I guess <laughs> I've been <laughs> lucky there too I um, <clears throat> I've won a few awards for single poems but then I did get a, a grant uh, from the Minnesota State Arts Board to work on a second book of poetry, and then I actually wrote it, <laughs> and it's being published mm -hmm. soon. So that was a, a nice thing. Okay, well, now we're going to switch gears a little bit. Uh, we'll go back to music, and uh, this actually pertains to both of you. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, what type of uh, music, or what's your favorite type of music, actually, mm -hmm. we're trying to figure out? Well, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, my first in, instinct I was this, or reaction is saying, of course, it's Finnish music, uh, and I guess it is. I mean, Finnish tangos and, and sad waltzes, you know, they're so soulful. 
but you know, there's other favorites too. I, because I'm into dancing, uh, and tango came from Argentina. But, uh, a lot of those are my favorites. Uh, Mexican music, the rancheras and the polkas. So I, that's that's hard to answer. But it, I uh -huh. guess it, if I had to pick something, it would be one of those. Gonsta uh, Yilha waltzes from Gaustinen <laughs> that are minor keyed and uh, and uh, you know speak to the Finnish soul, and I have roots in Gaustinen, so my grandparents. Hmm. What about you, Diane? So, well, I know I could ask you, so what do you feel that uh, Finnish music makes it unique? What, what is unique about Finnish music? Hmm. You, or maybe? Hmm. Yeah, there, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there's lots of things that make yeah. it unique yeah. because of where it's geographically situated and its influence from the east and from the west and from its internal sources Finnish music is, I mean, I don't, I mean, you'll hear things like it to the West and you'll hear things like it to the East of it, but nothing quite <laughs> like mm -hmm. it. It's incredibly unique that way and haunting and there's the haunting part of it, the melancholy part of it, but also it's got a celebratory part of it and a passionate part mm -hmm. to it too that I think is really a wonderful thing. So Yeah, and I, yeah. And I think that's, well, maybe all, a lot of music does, but so much of it, including modern or somewhat modern tango, still speak to nature and uh, what we hear and see in nature and our feelings about nature and the old home yeah. place, which a lot of music has gotten away from, I think. Yeah. So that, that sort of makes it unique, too. Uh, let's come to the close again here for the talk portion, mm -hmm. but I still I wanted to ask, you know, why don't you mention your website, oh. you know, so people mm -hmm. can uh, go into it and mm -hmm. uh, find more about you. Yeah, it's just dianejarvie.com and you'll find things about, it'll list, you know, the CDs and places where you can go get them, information about books, about workshops, it's got um, different you know, bio and yeah. different, so and it'll, it'll sometimes show things like performance dates and things like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so main thing is that, uh, so they know how to spell Jarvi or Yarvi, it's J-A-R-V-I, so and dot com. Right. <laughs> like everybody can spell the dot com. <laughs> so anyway, it's been great having both of you here. Thank
so I can put the, like the seas in my eyes and the grief in my chest. For you make my heart beat louder and darker through the night. Your lips, they are a shiver. You say yes, then sweetly, sweetly, make me die. Oh! <laughs> oh this is gonna be a good song! <laughs> Did the doors do this? <laughs> Don't hesitate, that's all. <laughs>
Oh.